Welcome to another demo for our ticketing system course for IT professionals. In our last video, we have picked ServiceNow. Now, if you remember why we picked ServiceNow, because it's well known to the IT community and to the managers. So when you talk about it in your uh, interview and you put it on your resume, it's just going to leave a good impression. Now, the next tool that we have decided to work on is Spiceworks. Again, we didn't get sponsored by them or anything. It's just the IT product. They have multiple IT products that a lot of people use in the, uh, in the current IT community. So many people know about this product. Even if people are not using it, they have some type of uh, interaction with this. The reason for this is that they have a very large IT community. Every time I do uh, training with my members, when we do technical stuff, I tell them that Danish is not going to be your friend. I'm not going to be your friend after the training. The reason for that is that I'm training multiple people on a weekly basis and we have 40,000 followers. So this is not possible for me to specifically invest my time with just one person and then help them out. That's a support basically. And I never make them rely on me because a real IT professional should never be relied on somebody else. He or she always have to use the master the master skill is to go to Google and how to find solutions and to be in a community at least. So then if there is an issue and you send it out into that community, it should have a millions of followers. So in a few minutes, you're going to start getting responses from professionals at the same skills or even more than what I possess. I mean, I don't even call, consider myself extremely sk skillful. There are people that are just way too good in IT and we learn from them. This is how we all learn from each other. It's, it's a simple rule in IT. You got to learn from other people. But I, of course, at the same time, you don't want to rely on one or two people. So that's how I train people. So you, first of all, if you didn't know about Spiceworks, you should go to spiceworks.com and become a member. It's free membership. Everything that I'm going to show you today is free. No charges, everything, advanced stuff. They, that's why we use it because it's they get paid by their uh, you know, sponsors and we get the product. It's a simple uh, thing for that. So if you look at it, why we picked Spiceworks is because of these requirements. Look at this. If you go to Indeed.com and type Spiceworks, you're going to see so many different type of, uh, uh, you know, positions that has to do everything with IT. Like, you know, Spiceworks right here, Spiceworks, even specifically this one says Spiceworks help this ticketing system. And then, of course, information technology manage Spiceworks. So, so many people are already using Spiceworks even if they're not using the help this piece of it, they may be using the, the you know, the asset management and some other tools in Spiceworks. So it's definitely going to leave a good impression when you talk about Spiceworks. They will know that, okay, you know a little bit more than A-plus kind of study. You know, you, you are not a too radical person. You, you have done a little bit more effort. So let's just hear you out. So there you go. You start breaking the wall right there. So now that we have cleared the why we are doing this, so we're going to go to Spiceworks. Uh, so the first thing you should do is to look into this pricing. I wanted to show you that there's no charge for this. Everything, advanced stuff, unlimited technicians, everything is free. So if you have the time and you have the ability or your company is using it, so that's great. Somebody's already managing it. It's extremely easy to manage. They also provide support. So this is this is something that if somebody is looking for a ticketing system, an advanced ticketing system, uh, you know, quality ticketing system, then of course they're, they're going to be looking at something like this. Um, but not to promote them. I mean, of course, you need to research and you need to find more reviews about them uh, and then pick your decision. This is not your decision, level one decision. If you don't see a ticketing system, then, then this may be a good time for you to suggest something like this to to show them that, you know, look, you, you have done something for the company and that's where they remember you and you move up very quickly. Now to get the Spiceworks help us, you just need to go to the Spiceworks.com and you're going to see this page. Then you will basically go to tools and you see they offer you two type of ticketing system. Now, this is another warning to people that they didn't have cloud based ticketing system. Almost all of their cloud is not going to take over in the future. You can see maybe at some point they will dis uh, discontinue their desktop version of help this and Spiceworks. I'm sure when they get too advanced at the cloud, I'm sure they're just going to say, why do we even need this? But as for now, like I said, it's both things are working in this market. It's more of a hybrid type of uh, world on premises and cloud working together. So right now we are going to go into the cloud help desk and then you only need to do is you need to basically 
register with Spiceworks and then you click on the, the launch help desk. So here you can download it, here you can launch it. So here on the bottom you have a lot of features. If you want to know what features does it provide, then you can see that they provide you ticket, uh, you know, use self-service, Active Directory integration. Uh, it, will, it, it will integrate with your Active Directory users, so it's a lot of authentications are simple and everything. Help disk management. And then you have ticket collaboration, multi-site support, and this is the requirements if you're going to download it. But if you're going to use, uh, you know, this this self-based versus, uh, you know, versus the cloud-based, so you can see this, the help desk online is minimal setup. I mean, there's no setup, no maintenance, nothing. Standard help desk, uh, you know, with all this kind of stuff right here. Uh, customize, customizable to meet your needs, integrated with Active Directory. Uh, here you have a, a little less options. You say full control runs on your network and you're not dependent on slow, unreliable ISPS, uh, ISPs. So basically, you can even learn more about it, but we're going to go into more uh, of uh, hands-on. So here you're going to come over here again, click on Cloud Help Desk, and we are going to go ahead and click on Launch Help Desk. You're going to register with your username and password. As soon as you register, it's going to ask you what do you want to give your help desk, uh, you know, like um, you know, this this link a name. So you may say, uh, let's say, it solution dot on Microsoft. Sorry, dot on dot on dot spiceworks dot com. I'm keeping saying on Microsoft, on dot uh, spiceworks dot com. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I already have an account. So here you go. Without any time i mean of course i talked about six minutes of what it is and everything but if i just if i would have started right now this would be like in a one minute you have a whole help desk ticketing system from your browser to practice on so what you need to do is you can come over here and click on dashboard first just to see how the dashboard looks like and if you remember from my last service now video i told you that every ticketing system has similarities so dashboard is there you can quickly see okay new tickets right here your tickets open tickets unassigned tickets so if you want to practice then this is where you need to go to, to the tickets so when you go to the tickets this is where you can just come over here and say okay you know what i would like to practice some of the tickets on my own so the first thing you should do is to click on new ticket so as soon as you do that you can see that you can put the contact information and then you can put the summary my computer is slow and then you can put more data in here assignee we have only one assignee we haven't added more people so this would be the people that you have been working with right it's going to be like the people that it could be a group it could be a tech uh, one technician or it could be a systems administrator anyone it could be based on that so we're going to pick this we don't have to put due date again you see the similarities priorities category these two the areas that you have learned in the lecture two is very important because you need to understand what these are so here i'm going to say hi and i'm going to say Category is, let's say, for example, my computer is slow, would be more hardware or could be even a software because depending on what the situation is. So we're just going to just click on that and click on save. So there you go. When you put a high in Spiceworks, the cool thing about this is show the whole red mark like that. So that shows, look, okay, you know, this is something that I really need to look at it. And it's already assigned. Why is it already assigned? Because you are the one who created the call. So this could be a scenario where you got a call from a customer or client or employee and they were talking to you on the phone or they maybe sent you an email. It's not a direct ticket. Then you will come over here and actually create a ticket yourself and you can see the assignment will be right there. If a user have created this ticket, then you'll just need to come over here and open that ticket. And the good thing about Spiceworks, I like this because it doesn't open like multiple or pop-ups or anything like that it's, it's really easy if you click on the ticket right there it's right on the same page so as you can see i can do multiple things from here as well i can do the change the priority i can uh you know change the data over here it's really cool right here i like the way the the, the way it works is so uh, neat and clean so then here i can do the categories and let's say network whatever i'm just picking things Time spent, your manager came in, how much spent, how much time did you spend on this? You know, so 45 minutes. And there you go. I'm just gonna basically go ahead and do that. So Joe, when I did this, you can see everything is changing right here. 
So activity, this is activity. I can add activity. It has a nice line right here that shows what's happening and everything. And then if you go to details, this is the details right here. And you can see the task. You can even add more task in here, maybe for another technician that you need to do certain tasks. So go check the task section. I did step one, you know. I checked the power, whatever, you know, whatever your sort of process. So you see, you can even make your task right there and create it for yourself before you even go to the ticket. So this means it's kind of like, you know, it gives you a little bit more if you don't forget things. Some of the some of the things that when we work in IT is pretty tedious, right? So you have to like, if you miss one task, then you will be like, okay, I need to go back and do that and check it. Or this may be a task for another technician. So make sure you do these things before you work on this type of ticket. For a new person, this will be great because a new person may not remember everything that we do who spend like 10 plus years. Now a new person may just go to a task and say, okay, you know what, this is the flow right here this person is asking me to do. It makes it super easy for a technician to come and check it out, okay? Then they have related devices is another thing is like if this issue was related to some device is which is already in the Spiceworks because Spiceworks is not just about ticketing system. It's way more than that. It, it comes with uh, uh, asset management. It comes with, uh, you know, so many things, inventory and things like that. So if, you, if your Spiceworks is the one that is being used in your company for overall scanning and everything and collecting data from your computers, this would be a perfect tool because then you have everything connected. You can pick a computer and it will show you all the tickets on side of that computer. And then if, let's say, you join a company after two years and they were doing a great job by connecting the computers and keeping things in track, you may just join that company and open that computer and you will see all the tickets from two years. That gives you a lot of data. And even for the users, it gives you a lot of data behind that user that this user is calling a lot and may need more help than other users. Or this user may specifically be having this type of issue. So in future, I'm going to get these type of calls. So when you're new, you already know. If this user call you, you go back to their tickets. And you kind of study the users also. So you see your job becomes pretty easy when you do a proactive learning, proactive searching, and proactively, ready, ready, uh, proactively making yourself ready. So if the ticket requires more attention, then of course you can click on the remote session. And then if it's already set up for the Zuhu Assist, then you will be able to remote in. Now, now this type of feature is usually uh, a company will have already something implemented like a CCM or different type of solutions. If it's a MSP, they have different type of solutions that they have already implemented for remote sessions. So this is something that you will learn from our training and our help desk course because that's a different skill right there. Now, like I said, if Spicework is connected to the device inventory, when you click on it, then it's going to give you all the machines that are in your network. And based on that, you're going to see uh, you know, tickets on top of those machines. But that's again, if it's uh, if they have already implemented this solution as well, because these two are different solutions. The ticket ticketing is separate one. And then you if you want the device inventory, then you can use it. But like I said, maybe a company is using already a CCM and every other solutions will have their own type of system. So some, uh, you know, uh, ticketing systems like Remedy and, you know, BMC and iSupport, they already come with these type of features. So they may already have, uh, you know, something like this in place if they're using those type of ticketing system. Even if they're not using these type of features, they they basically go with external tools like SCCM. Uh, you know, there's so many other Manage Engine. Uh, there's too many out there. Iterian, there's, there's uh, uh, I think, Big Fix. Uh, I forgot what's their new name now, but that's what, what it was called. So you see you have so many different type of things that you can do, but... In terms of ticketing, you just need to come over here and kind of play around with this stuff. Like like you see, every ticketing system that we have touched so far is almost the same thing. ID, summary, assignee, creator, priority, category, due, and updated. Everything is the same. And I can also come here and change my layout if the way I want to. You saw that service now is a little more advanced. It's a little more simple. So like I said, it has to come... At the end, you have to make a decision that you want a simple ticketing system. Does it do all the things that you're looking for? Then you may want to go for simple. Why would you want to go for advanced stuff that if things are 
the things can be done easily. But then, of course, people then have more, you know, customized requests and things like that. Then you would need more robust enterprise level ticketing system that you have learned in lecture two. So then once you're done with this stuff, you can go back to the dashboard and your dashboard will be updated. As you can see right here, we got a graphs coming in now and all that cool stuff is happening. And if you go to the activity, then it tells you what's going on. So maybe somebody at, you know, at any level can just come here and see what's going on and what kind of activities are in place right now. Knowledge base is again, this is another part of that. You know, we talked about that people are going to come in, see, okay, where, where can I find password reset policy or how, how many characters should I put on in the password and stuff like that then it will be in the in the knowledge base and you will be asked to come and create articles now this is another cool area that you can come and do practice so you already know you can do practice on ticketing system right you can also come to the article base and create some articles just just add some links in there add some steps in there just get a feeling of writing a knowledge base KB. So if somebody asks you now inside the interview, so you can actually talk about the whole process that you have done and you created the whole cloud ticketing system for yourself and you created some tickets and from that ticket you did some technical stuff. Of course, you if you were our member, you would be going to the labs like this, for example, domain controller. And then here you implement that on-premises uh, Spiceworks because that's another skill somebody has to install it and everything we're not going to do that in this training this is too basic and we're not going to go into that because it requires all these equipments so a lot of our members are going to come over here and install this create a ticketing system portals to these machines right here and then they will go in and create a ticket and once they create a ticket they resolve the ticket by doing that technical process so it's like i said from the beginning this course is a part of our complete training which is the um, uh, you know the it support professional training that we're offering on our website so this this is a part of it so it's, it's still if you're doing all this ticketing system and you're becoming an it professional you're just learning a small skill of doing things but again you can come here, play around with dash dashboard, tickets, activity, knowledge base, and then go to the reporting. Once you go to the reporting, you can create yourself some reports right here. And just to see if you can, you know, just play around with this stuff. Because most of the time, the reports are going to be created by your managers. In level one, you're not going to be doing reporting. But you may come across, let's say, an, an issue or something that you need a report for. Maybe somebody asks you, can you run a report that how many snag it or how many... A, B, C, D application we're using in this whole company. Then you may just come over here and run a whole report on top of the machines if you're using the inventory system, then you will give that. If you're not using that, then maybe they'll say, how many unassigned uh, you know, tickets do we have? Can you run a report and print it out for me? So you may have to do this part as well. So uh, other than that, to be honest, there's nothing in the ticketing systems. We can go for like 15 ticketing system online and that's going to have the same process same everything but the reason we are picking some of it just so you can put it on your resume because everybody knows about these ticketing system after this we're going to touch only one more and that's going to be manage engine once we finish that you have three products to put on your resume you have three products to talk uh, in your interview and that should be it for the ticketing system you don't want to invest too much time in here you should be going back to the trainings that you can learn more about the operating systems deployments imaging and more of that advanced stuff like office 365 now as you that's the stuff that you need to be focusing on thank you